I made my first RMJ tactical video, well technically my second now that I think about it. I did make a RMJ Raven 3V video uh, like a year or so ago, but I made my first knife video uh, like only like a couple of weeks ago in which I tried out the Sparrow, Jackdaw, UCAP and Dachopa and they all performed really really great. Uh, I was actually quite impressed. Uh, and I, you know, I, I thought to myself, why didn't I, you know, go with some of their knives earlier? But, you know, better late than never. Uh, in that video, I did, however, specify that I was, you know, missing certain models, like the Unmei, because it wasn't available at the time when I made my order. But just some days ago, maybe one week ago, the Unmei was uh, restocked at DLT and I managed to snag one. So we're going to take a look at that one, because this is a knife that I've been, you know, looking for. Uh, for some time uh, so that was a no-brainer picking that one up then we have something here that I was recommended by some friends of mine it is the American Tomahawk model 2 uh, so I apparently or I think that RMJ kind of bought up the brand American Tomahawk uh, so they, I, I decided to include it is the, in this specific video so this is going to be the model 2 which we're gonna unbox and take a look at and last but definitely not least this large package is something that I've been looking to get for well since I first heard about RMJ uh, I'm you know I'm surprised this wasn't the first the first tool I got from them uh, then again I mean starting off with the Raven in 3v well that's quite a nice start and I do like the Raven it is a practical small hatchet this is a bit different uh, what we have here is the Eagle Talon and I think that model is you know one of those uh, absolute first models that RMJ came out with uh, but it has been slightly redesigned now I think with the handles being uh, interchangeable with Torx screws. Uh, but we're gonna do an unboxing and take a look at this one as well. But I think we're gonna start small here. We're gonna start with the with the Unmei. And this is just going to be not you know full overviews or anything. This is just a video where I show some some RMJ products that I will put to good use later on. This is just a consider this a teaser of sorts. So let's uh, go with this one. Does it say anything here? Unmei, Nitro V, Graphite Black, Black Handle. So it is like uh, all of my other knives from RMJ, except for the U-cap, which was uh, with that uh, texture, black texture. Same kind of paperwork, I guess. Uh, same kind of sticker. Certificate of authorship. Un model Unmei Steel Nitro V Handle G10, date 2021. Uh, does it get more interesting than that? But. Let's put these away here and remove the box here. So this is the Unmei. I should have gotten this one when it was offered in the Explore More edition because I really like those white G10 handles with the orange liners on. It just looks incredibly nice in my opinion. This one however goes well together with my with my Sparrow, with my Jackdaw and with my sort of with my Dachopa and um, a new cap. I realize now, by the way, that this is not the tungsten Saracoat. I think I actually went with the black, yeah, the black uh, Saracoat or black coating. Anyways, let's listen for some rattle. Yeah, this is good. It's no rattling at all whatsoever. I think that they, you know, have the, the Sparrow that I got, which had some rattling. It was one of the older versions because it had the hollow pins, right? And I think that the other ones are with Torx are the new versions. And the new version seems to be having better Kydex sheath quality, which is a good thing. So that's good for everyone, you know, buying the new versions, which are soon to be the only versions available, I guess. So let's uh, remove this from the sheath. Yeah, it's got some really, really good retention. This feels excellent. 
Um, yeah, and this is yeah the sheath system. I'm not going to go into super much details right now. I just want to show the uh, these three tool software. So this is indeed um, uh, the black version of the knife. Uh, to me, this is a, a really nice, stylish, uh, Japanese-like design. Super practical at that. I should maybe have brought out my sparrow or my jackdaw and some others to do some size comparisons. But that will have to be for the for the full video. All I can say is that I have a size 10, large hands, and this this just feels great in my hand. Got some jimping going on here, the finger groove works well. Just a, a really, really solid looking and feeling knife and design. Uh, definitely a winner, and I knew that before. Uh, I should just, you know, I should have gotten this one a lot earlier. Hopefully, it will be made in some other uh, versions as well. I saw that DLT had one with uh, carbon fiber scales and, and the black texture. I, maybe I should have gone with that, but uh, it's too late now because I think it is sold out. Might get in stock in the future. I have no idea. Uh, but I'm happy with what I got. And G10 is, of course, the, the tougher material uh, compared to. Uh, to carbon fiber it may not be you know quite the stylish looking but you know yeah you have to you have to go with your with your preferences and sometimes you have to you know do so certain compromises but the rmj tactical on may yeah looking forward to put this one to use really really like this design really nice design so let's move on uh, shall we so there we go back in the box with all the paperwork etc so what should we go with next i think i'm gonna go with american uh, tomahawk uh, i'm gonna save the, the i'm gonna save the best for last but i mean i just feel like it would be a nice grand finale with the eagle talon so here we have the American Tomahawk model 2. And what's this? Well, obviously here is the Tomahawk with the uh, Kydex Street on and some uh, um, straps for the for the Kydex Street. I guess it's nothing in here and I guess it's also nothing in here. Uh, here is some uh, yeah, this is now the official unboxing video because once I've done this, I can't undo it. So let's see if we can open it up. Maybe we can open it up in a nice way that doesn't, you know, completely mess, the, mess it up. Yeah, well, I'm doing as good as I can here. <laughs> this is the official unboxing video. There we go. So we got this envelope with some um, an American Tomahawk sticker, certificate of authorship. Uh, this blade was crafted by the American Tomahawk Company in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Chattanooga, Tennessee is of course where RMJ is located as well. Uh, the Tomahawk has been seen. The Tomahawk has seen the Vietnam War first and where it was used to protect and breach for the soldiers that used it. Now, over 60 years later, we have recreated one of the finest and most reliable tools out there. In all of these times, these blades have served a life and death role. It is in this spirit we crafted our bla your blade. We hope that it serves you well for the years to come. So Model 2, Blade Steel 1060, uh, Handle, uh, STN nylon. What does STN stand for? Standard? I don't know. Scabbard Kydex date 2021. So this is what this card looks like. If you want to read it yourself, you can just press pause now. Anyway, uh, we also have some instructions. Uh, American Tomo Company limited lifetime warranty. I'm not going to go into details. And we also have some. Uh, I don't know what this is. These are the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install your low-ride uh, mock straps to your scabbard. Yeah, we can look into that later on. Uh, like I said, this is just a, a overview video of source. So let's put this uh, back here in the 
in the envelope shall we and then we can uh, bring out the actual tomahawk area so this is interesting this is like uh, absolutely like nothing else that I own um, I'm not sure I would have picked this up if I wasn't recommended it, but now I'm kind of glad I did because I did get those recommendations. It is on the heavy side. I don't have the the specs here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a dedicated video for this one, of course, where we put it to use. Uh, as many of you know, uh, I do have quite a lot of axes, not many hatches, and especially not you know hatches in this design or like full tongue hatches, more like you know classical uh, woodworking hatches. But this might serve well in the woods as well. Uh, I do know that they redesigned uh, Model 1 into this Model 2 and that they made it you know, a more versatile tool. Uh, and I think that is, you know, looking at pictures or photos of the Model 1, comparing it with the Model 2, the Model 2 sure seems like the, the, the better, more versatile hatchet, no doubt about it. So let's start by, uh, oh, we can take a look here, this is what the handle looks like. It feels, it really feels, you know, kind of good. It is a bit, you know, rounded uh, with this uh, contouring or texturing. Uh, I'm probably gonna wear gloves when I use this one. I'm not saying that you have to, but you know, I, I can see myself wearing gloves, absolutely. Uh, and the Kydex sheath, no rattling, really firmly on here. Uh, retention seems to be quite nice. Uh, so let's unsnap it, or not, there we go, and then we just, you know, like pull it out or maybe we can do like, like this, yeah. So there is some oil or greasing here on, um, here is what it looks like, uh, sort of a hammer pole here as well, no spike or anything. Also makes it a more versatile uh, tool or axe. This is how it is fitted to this uh, to the handle, and we do have quite a a beard on this one, which does make it more versatile. I cannot, I, I really do, you know, appreciate and like the design here uh, of this this blade, this tomahawk here. Uh, absolutely, I do can see the the perks and, and pros with that. Feels good in hand. Um, like I said, I'm not sure how heavy this is. Uh, I'm not sure I want to estimate. I'm usually pretty good at guessing, but right now I feel... I don't feel confident guessing. But it is perhaps slightly heavier than I thought. Uh, I wonder what, how much you know, the handle weighs compared to the actual head of the axe. Um, so black coating or black finish here. I'm not sure how, how, uh, how tough this coating is. But that is something we're going to find out uh, when we put it to some, some real real use. Uh, you know, it's kind of... let's take a look here. Not looking for grain or anything, but we can look at the, the actual grind here. And we can see that it is... You know, it is slightly thicker uh, behind uh, the edge. Uh, but it does look like a tough, strong edge, and I'm sure, you know, saying that it is slightly thick does not mean uh, that much in terms of performance until we have actually tested it out. Uh, I think it's gonna work well just looking at, at the grind here. Uh, this looks good to me, but it's hard to, to transfer uh, through, through the screen. Easier to show by doing different tasks with the axe. Holding it like this feels surprisingly comfortable. It feels, you know, nicely balanced as well. When you choke up like this, uh, when you want to do some, you know, maybe some finer carving, feather sticks, working in the kitchen, slicing some uh, some meat or whatever, uh, it does feel it does feel good. Uh, I also wonder how how strong this axe is, you know, in the in the fitting here. Um, but I bet it's it's you know tightly secured. But like I said, I'm gonna we're gonna try this one out a lot. Uh, first impression is that it looks it looks nice, feels nice. The actual design of the head uh, and the and the edge and the grinds, yeah, it does look it looks nice. Is it sharp? I don't have a whole lot of hair. Let's see, I have some hair on my hand here. Yeah. Uh, it is shaving sharp, so I'm gonna be 
maybe perhaps a bit careful there, not you know mess around or play around too much. But it is, it just shaved some hair off my my hand. So this one is sharp. Do be careful uh, when you play around with this tomahawk. Uh, let's put it back into the into the kydex sheath. There we go. And then we put on the snap here as well. This is going to be a lot of fun to, to use. Uh, I think I'm gonna make it, you know, that video quite soon because I <laughs> I feel kind of excited uh, to put this one to use. I've got to say that this is going to be great fun. And I bet there are not many videos out there showing this one in actual use, so that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun. Maybe put it up against some of my my other hatches, uh, perhaps. Let's see if we can get it in there. And here we had yeah the uh, straps for the for the kydex sheath. So that was the model two from American Tomahawk Company. Uh, which is part of RMJ. And now we have it here, the Eagle Talon 80 CRV2 Tungsten Black. This is something I have been waiting a long, long, long time for. We even got this little stamp thing here. Certificate of authorship. This blade was crafted by the RMJ tactical crew in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The ground over which this blade was made has seen times of war and times of peace, times of want and times of prosperity, ancient ways and modern conveniences. In all of these times, blades served a life and death role. It is in this spirit we crafted your blade. We hope that it serves you well for the years to come. Model Eagle Talon Blade Steel 80 CRV2 Handle G10 Date 2021. This is what I have been waiting for. Then we have some more paperwork and some stickers. Oh, actually no sticker, but I'm fine. I have tons of those since I got some, some knives. So let's do some unveiling here, shall we? Well, 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 what do we have here? Here we have the, um, uh, the straps here for the kydex. I'm gonna let them be here. And here we have the Eagle Talon, 18 inches long. I like that. That's a real full size hatchet, right? Let's get it out of here. else back here and close it up. The wind is picking up a bit so let's get it out of here. Oh man, finally. I think I was, you know, the first time I thought about picking this one up was probably back in 2015 or 2016 and today is, you know, now it's 2021. It's a couple of years ago. Definitely, definitely about time. This one is 18 inches. It is, well, I don't have the specs, but this is one hell of a thick, you know, spine. Uh, you will not be breaking this one easily. And here we see the new design. There are no longer hollow pins here, but torque screws. So these handles are interchangeable, but I also know that they are quite, you know, fixed to the bladers. So I'm not afraid of them getting loose by, you know, doing some hard work and hard work that is what we're gonna do with this one holy crap so let's uh, take a look at the kydex tree there not a whole lot of rattling uh, pretty much none at all uh, let's see some some detailed views perhaps of the kydex tree looks a bit like a you know the head of an alien Yeah, let's, uh, let's 
let's open this one up, shall we? And now we have to be kind of careful because there is a spike here on the back that is, I bet, super sharp. And I bet the edge here is also really, really sharp. Uh, I would like to just, you know, pull it out like this. I'm gonna see if I can do that. The retention is quite firm. Ah. And I'm gonna make maybe a special, just because I'm not used to this blade, I'm gonna use a, um, a special way of opening this Kydex sheath because, well, since I'm not too familiar with how to do it, I don't wanna risk cutting my hand open, so I'm just gonna attach this uh, piece of lanyard here. And then I'm gonna just pull it like that. Okay, well, maybe it is tougher than I thought. Oh man, so the retention here is uh, extreme. Well, that is, uh, I guess, one way to do it, right? Looking at it now, I guess I could have done it perhaps a bit differently than that. Uh, but regardless, we did get it uh, open, right? Look at this beast. Look at that spike. Yeah, this is probably one of the most dangerous tools that I have. One of my most dangerous bladed tools. This one is no joke. Holy hell. So I can say right away that this is perhaps not as you know, versatile as the um, American Tomahawk Model 2, but it is a slightly, slightly, you know, well, I, I don't really like using the phrasing or word cool, but it is a bit cooler, right? And I mean, in, if you're gonna actually use it in, in, in some military service, etc., this could probably be the more useful tool to breach and destroy things with uh, compared to the, to the Model 2. Uh, the Model 2 is a bit more, what should I say? Um, aimed towards, you know, more casual tasks, perhaps, than the Eagle Talon. But I knew well what I was getting into when I, when I bought this one. Or well, I knew what, you know, what it was going to excel at. Um, I will say that the actual head here of the, uh, the hatchet here is slightly smaller than what I thought. Uh, not a big deal really just a you know I haven't I haven't seen one in real life before you know holding this one in my hand so here we can take a look at uh, the grinds a bit more and you can also test the sharpness I bet this one is going to be pretty you know hair popping sharp right um, Yeah, so it is indeed. I don't have a whole lot of hair, but maybe it's visible. It is indeed hair, hair shaving sharp. Uh, so one should probably be somewhat careful with this blade. Uh, also, with this, uh, with this uh, hatchet, this part underneath here is also sharpened. So that is something to think about if you're gonna place it in this type of grip that, you know, be careful not to slice your finger off. I would probably not recommend using it like this. Uh, probably not the, the best idea. Uh, and the reason for this is, of course, if you pull it in, if you smash it into like a, a metal sheet or a car door or something, you can, of course, open it like a can opener of sorts. Uh, this is a no-nonsense tool. And I think you should know a bit about how to handle uh, hatches, axes, uh, breaching tools etc before 
before you start messing around and just go crazy with this one. Otherwise, I, I would say that risk of hurting yourself is uh, probably, you know, quite, uh, quite big. And the Eagle Talon. But I need to check out the, um, the Caddy Street and how to, how to open it in a, in a slightly, you know, safer, um, in a slightly, did I not get it completely in? I did not. Let's see. This must be fully in now, right? Yeah, so now we have it fully closed, like this. But opening it up, yeah, maybe there is something to it. I mean, how strong do you have to be? Yeah, this is probably easier to do than what I did before. So now it is completely closed, and to open it up, we can. See. Yeah, so there is an easier way of uh, opening this one, uh, the way I'm doing now. Uh, but I know if, if you do have it, you know, attached, um, let's see, if you do have it attached to like your belt and it's hanging on the side, do be careful when you you know, pull it out so you don't get it stuck in your in your leg, uh, because that could be kind of bad for you, uh, especially if you're like, well, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that's a pretty big no-no. So, Eagle Talon, 80 CRV2, tungsten coat, black G10 handle. It's gonna be interesting, you know, testing this one out a bit. Uh, look once again at that in you know, the spine thickness. I mean, this is friggin'. It's gonna be impossible to break this one. Holy hell. So maybe I should place all the tools here, like for a last, you know, uh, overview of source. We can place the Eagle Talon down here. Then we can place the, um, the Model 2. Here. And then we can finally place the Unmei here. So what you see here are a few interesting tools that will be uh, tried out in the not too distant future. Lay still. There we go. So uh, yeah, I, I honestly I can't wait until I can you know get to, to try these ones out. Uh, it's gonna be quite an, an interesting uh, uh, experience that I am sure of. So just a, I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, probably some RMJ special episode, something like that. Uh, but I just wanted to show some, some of these uh, interesting uh, new acquisitions of mine. Thank you.